Right, hi everyone, welcome back to my War Games Hobby channel. I'm at the club tonight and I'm having a game with Ken. I'll just show you what we're going to do. Okay, so in fact what we're playing is, we're playing Lion Rampant, which as you know in the past, if you've watched any of my videos, you know I quite enjoy those. But what we're doing is a scenario from the Lion Rampant Crusader book, which is the escape uh, from Hattin which I will show you and explain what's going to happen in a minute. Uh, the army lists we're using, basically the Crusaders have only got mounted, so they've got five units, two units of heavy cavalry or knights, two units of medium cavalry, and then another unit of skirmish cavalry. And that's from the, the Frankish Settlers and Pulani army list in the book, which is what we suggested the ones we use. And that comes to 24 points. Well, I've got uh, the Saladin, or the Ayyubids or Mameluk army list. I've got less cavalry. I've only got one medium cavalry and one light cavalry, which is how it should be. Then I've got a holy character and then two units of infantry, one medium, one light, uh, a unit of skirmishers and a unit of archers. So I've got seven units against uh, Ken's five and uh, that comes 24 points as well. Now the idea is, I'll just show you the, the, the table. That's Ken, my opponent. Hello Ken. Hello. From uh, Miniature War Games Warriors. So um, this, is the, this is the table we, I've set up. Now you can see that there's a well in the middle of the table and there's a, a village sort of on the, on the outskirts. Now for this scenario, the table is divided into five areas. We've got a sort of a square around the, um, the well, which I have to try and defend with my Saracens, but I only allowed one unit there. The rest are coming on uh, this side of the table, through the village. And then the Crusaders, which are over there, five units of cavalry, I've got to take the well and hold it and then also hold another of the quarters of the table. So if you can imagine, you've got four quarters. One, two, three, four. Well, he's not going to hold a village because I'm going to have that. But if he holds at least one others, one of the others, then he can win the game. Because the, the well in the middle is worth five points and all the other uh, four areas that we have to try and capture worth two points each. So if you hold the well and one of those other squares, rectangles, then he can win. His cavalry though move at a slight disadvantage until his heavy cavalry, that is the knights, they have to try and touch the well first, any, any area around the well, and then they can move slightly easier. At the moment he normally is 7 plus to move knights or, or heavy cavalry, but it's 8 plus until he touches the well. But the, uh, the army commander, who is Raymond, who in, in the actual real battle did actually escape Hattin, one of the few leaders that did with some heavy cavalry, some of his supporters, and this is supposed to represent that. So Raymond uh, does move first. He's also got the commanding skill. So he may re-roll at least one fouled move, attack or shoot per turn, anyone within 12 inches of himself. So uh, he's got to um, use that wisely and try and touch that well and hold it. Um, and that's it. So what I'll do is we'll, we'll play a few, um, the first move, and every so often, I'm not going to record the whole game, because as you know, that's what I don't do. I do sort of highlights, and every so often I'll come back and I'll let you know how we're getting on. So there we go. Let's get on with the game. So just to show you what I've got, I've got some skirmish bow arm cavalry here then I've got a unit of bowmen then I've got my holy man in fact he's also my army commander as well that's this chap here Then I've got a unit of skirmishers bowmen another unit of spearmen here then we've got a unit of medium cavalry and then holding the well is a unit of light infantry so they're not that good but uh, they are holding the well for now then over here we've got a unit of bow arm skirmish type cavalry. It should only be six there really, but it doesn't matter in these rules. Um, then we've got um, two units of knights in the middle and then two units of medium cavalry over there. Right, and it's Raymond or the Crusaders that I've got to go first. 
Okay, quick update. We're starting to maneuver. As you can see, we're slowly moving forward. In fact, I've moved these spearmen back because they're a little bit vulnerable with all that cavalry coming in. So I've moved back. My leader hasn't moved yet. He keeps failing to move, which isn't handy really. And I put my skirmishers up in this building because they, they look a bit vulnerable down there on their own in the, in the open. So it's um, yeah, early days, just a bit of maneuvering, but it's all going to start to happen this move and it's to Crusader Town. Okay, a uh, quick update. Um, as I said last time, we've, we're now all getting stuck in and it's been really a good move for the Crusaders. Okay, so my skirmish cavalry here, when these cavalry were there, they opened fire and caused a casualty, but they're, they're okay. And if we sweep round here, they incidentally aren't doing much at all. They keep failing to move. But over here, the knights charged this unit that's here. I've now lost five men from that unit because they did lose one from the skirmish cavalry here and they lost another four in the melee and they've had to fall back. But they, they didn't fall back because they're broken. They did manage to stay there, but because they lost the melee, they've fallen back. They've fallen back in good order, really. Um, over here, the medium infantry I got, my decent infantry, just had a melee with this cavalry. He lost two, I lost two, but I fouled my uh, test and I've fallen back and they're now battered. And over here, his six cavalry here are rather beating mine. Again, I, I'm, I'm passing my test, but because I, I'm, I charged home last time and I've had to fall back, I've now only got three men there. So that's not looking um, particularly good. So at the moment, the, uh, the Crusaders have only lost three figures and my um, Saracens, as you can see, have lost uh, 10 figures. So at the moment, it's all going the Crusaders' way. And these knights are looking very happy in the middle here. And they've got more knights back there. They haven't even got into the battle yet. But when they do, they're going to be kicking some serious butt somewhere. So, yep, I need to hopefully recover things in this next move. And I'll report back when I do. OK, quick report. The knights that are over here charged my... They had to charge. They had to do a wild charge. Uh, charged my skirmish cavalry. Uh, but I managed to evade. I shot at him but didn't do any damage and I evade. Because you, if you um, do an evade, you only hit on sixes. And of course, to knock a knight off, I've got to get four hits and I didn't. I think I got two. So anyway, I, but at least they, they live to fight another day. Over here, my bowmen um, aren't doing very much. They did fire on, I know it's, it, it, it's the Crusaders turn. They didn't do any damage there. Yeah, so my bowmen haven't done really much at all. They have lost um, just one figure, but they're not shooting very well. Over here, the light infantry unit I had in front of those knights um, died to a man, although they did, at this time, manage to take two Crusader knights with them. So that's good. But that unit has disappeared. My leader is looking a bit vulnerable here because if they get attacked, they're in trouble. So I'm going to be running away there in a minute. The Black Guard in the middle did well. They, although they've lost now four figures, their uh, courage test was fine, but the attacking medium cavalry failed their courage test. They've withdrawn, they've only got two men left there now, and they're battered. And over here, my single figure is battered. He's on his own. Um, but I did manage to get take a casualty off the um, that little red marker, because they're based in twos. The red marker indicates that they are down to five now. So the Crusaders have still got the upper hand, but we are managing to whittle, whittle them down the mounted figures anyway, or the, the medium cavalry and two knights. We're whittling them down a little bit, but it really doesn't look that positive for the Saracens at the moment. Um, we're looking for a good move. It's my turn next. I'm hoping to do something really special. I just don't know what it is yet. <laughs> okay, so um, nothing happened here. Uh, over here my bowmen fired and managed to um, kill a couple of these guys and their skirmish cavalry are falling back. However, oh, let's do, I'll come back to that one in a minute. Over here my 
my single guy, I failed his test and had to withdraw again. But if you do that when you're already battered, you lose another figure, so he's gone. My skirmishers up here didn't really do much. They're not having much luck against knights. They need to get four hits. They're never doing that. And um, you notice there's a gap though. <laughs> and in that gap was my black guard. Now they did actually do an equal damage. They lost two more, but, on, on, but they took off two knights as well. So the knights though, courage was okay. And sadly my black guard um, managed to roll really badly and they fled. They've gone, they've routed. So um, the Saracens are really struggling now. All I've got left is some skirmish cavalry over here against the knights. I've got a bow unit, my leader, who's very vulnerable because he's not very strong at all, and these skirmishers in here on the roof. Now the thing is, I can't, I can't at the moment capture as much territory as I need to. He's got control of the well, and it's in fact the last turn now anyway. Um, and um, so yeah, I'm clutching at straws. It's just a case of how much he beats me by rather than <laughs> if he's going to win. Are you happy about that, Ken? Yeah, yeah played me, of course so you yeah, are. Yeah. Happy, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll report back and tell you what happens, although we do know really there's not much I can do to win this game now because he's got most of the territory that he required and he's in a much stronger position unit-wise anyway. Right, okay, report back when it's all over. Okay, the game is over as expected. What happened was um, I, I couldn't really go into combat with my leader because they, they, they would have died horribly against, even though he's only got two knights left, although there's three figures there, that represents the leader. Um, the, the bowman opened fire, didn't do any damage, and so did the skirmishers in there to try and whittle him down in the hope that he would run away, but he, they found they got three hits each but of course you need four, so I, I wasn't able to do that. The cavalry is, is cavalry have moved around here. The, the unit that was here uh, had to retreat again, so lost another figure. That unit still battered over there. Uh, the knights managed to wipe out my light cavalry here, because I tried to avail, but didn't. And then he, um, he charged me and wiped me out. So it's, it's effectively over because he's got the central well He's got that top corner and he's in charge of this top corner as well. Um, these are dead, so I could, I've got this corner and maybe that corner over there, but it's not enough. He's got three of the five terrain pieces and... Um, Do battered units count as holding the terrain? Yeah. They count as what? Do they count as actually holding it? They yeah, they're that. still there, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are, yeah. So yeah, it was a good game, but um, the knights were just very, as always, very powerful. And I didn't roll that well, did I, Ken? No. I was rubbish, wasn't no, I? No, you didn't my roll dice. that well. I changed my dice twice to try and find, you know, get a bit of luck, but it didn't work, did it? it, didn't work, did it? <laughs> <laughs> so there we are, that's the scenario we played, uh, the Hattin, or the, um, the escape from Hattin. And uh, Raymond, this guy here, with the ho holding his sword high, He's a part of that unit, really, but uh, he, he managed to get away, which, in fact, is the truth. In the battle, he did manage to get away from our team, one of the few survivors, with his a small retinue of knights. And that's exactly what we did in this game. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was good fun. Yeah, it was good Thanks, fun. Thanks, Ken. No, no worries. Right, good fun.